So we are joined by Commander's defensive tackle, Deron Payne, 13th overall pick in 2018. Started 75 of 81 games, 291 tackles, 26 sacks, 55 quarterback hits during this career that led to your big whopping four-year $90 million contract in the offseason. I noticed one thing real quick here. When you got that signing bonus and that check cleared, you didn't call me. What happened? What happened with that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, had, I had a whole bunch of people on my line. So oh. I, mm -hmm. I probably didn't see you. Oh, you probably didn't see me. That's <laughs> what happened. So, you know, I, I have to know this before we get into the football stuff. Uh, what's the first thing that you did as far as, you know, spending on a lavish treat for yourself and don't tell me you're out here saving your money like Man, Morgan I Stanley. Really, mm -hmm. No, nah, I really ain't even, I, I ain't take no trips this off season. What? I was, yeah, I was really training. I, but I did get a chance to uh, donate a lot of money to uh, like my old high school oh. and, um, to a lot of people like in my community. So mm -hmm. that was fun. Oh, so everything was just philanthropic, you know, no extravagant trips to Greece or nah, Ibiza not or nothing like that? Not yet. I'm going to have me a, a good season and then we'll Put then some. you're going to do that. Yeah. Well, speaking of a good season, last year this defense finished third overall in terms of yards per game allowed. And I just wanted you to really quickly describe this atmosphere out here, you know, going up against the Ravens in a dual practice and just how, you know, their examples of going up against Lamar Jackson and company is really helping this defense along. I mean, we've been um, in camp with our own team. like So it's, it's nice to get out here and uh, get to go against, like, new new uh, schemes, like coaching schemes, and see different plays and see different guys and, um, like, how they play and stuff. So I feel like it's just good work for us leading up into the season. Is there anything, though, DP, that you've learned about this defense being out here, you know, going up against the, the speed of a Lamar and, and just who else they have in terms of their offensive weapons at this point in the season? Oh, I mean, I've been to, uh, like, all, all my guys. I know they're going to fight hard and all, all the way to the end. Like, that's why – we always so good on defense because uh, I just know the group of guys we got, they always go fight hard for each other, and we go rally behind that. So. Mm -hmm. And speaking of fighting hard, just a, a few skirmishes out here. Now, Now, camp fights, DP, are nothing new. But describe in your own words why you think it's testy between these two teams. Uh, I don't think it has nothing to do with the teams. I feel like it's just um, guys competing and uh, getting after it and, Sometimes it just boils over the top a little bit, but for the most part, we just be trying to um, get better, and we ain't really trying to fight. Mm, but I do feel like there's a certain DNA with the guys that play in kind of the DMV area, and then you guys are so close on, on the Beltway and things like that, a lot yeah. of familiarity and competition for fans. I mean, how much do you feel like that energy just kind of get, gets you guys going? And I don't know it's all fun and games and a little machismo, but still, tell me. Uh... I don't know. I, I know we got a bunch of uh, Commander fans. Like, we got a bunch of new fans because of how things are going for us. And um, I'm just excited for the year and um, excited to see what type of energy they bring for us because uh, we've been uh, lacking with the fans here lately. But oh. it's been it's been good for us. So we're going to see. Was that your polite way of saying that you guys have new fans because you have new ownership? A little bit, a little bit. That's what it looked like. <laughs> I just filled that in for you. That's okay there. You know what also impacts a defense's readiness is also just improving the offense, though, DP. And a lot of teams did that, you know, notably the Jets at QB1 with Aaron Rodgers. But uh, the commander's organization showing a lot of faith in Sam Howell. And I'm just curious how you feel like that decision, showing faith in him, yeah. will impact the defense, when you're talking about, like, time of possession that the offense has and that, how that affects rest for a defense. Oh, uh, yeah, we got a bunch of playmakers on offense and um, a bunch of guys that I that I trust to make big plays. And um, I feel like Sam, he a baller, man. He going to go out there. Like, he's so calm, cool, and collected. So I don't see him being frustrated or none of that. Like, um, it just, just uh, feels good to have someone with, like, I don't know, just that mental mental stability that could just stand in there, even with everybody talking and uh, all that, just know that they go in there and perform. So I feel like it'll be good for our defense just to um, stay off the field as much as we do. But uh, we'll see how it play out. When you say it feels good to have a quarterback with that mental stability, is that you kind of illuminate? You feel like that's been missing to a degree? Uh, no, I'm just saying, like, with Sam, like, mm. he's always the same way every day. Like, he's just cool. Like, he'll never be up or high. So. It's just always mellow. 
He's always mellow. Well, let's also talk about the defensive side of the ball. You know, I just wanted to get into how you feel like maybe you've detected or noticed how uh, Eric Bieniemy has impacted just the offense. I know you're on the defensive side of the ball, but in terms of what you see going up against that offense. Uh, I know because uh, Eric, he's just always, oh, you can always hear him in the background getting on the offense about all the little things, like the littlest things. But it's, it's good. To, I played at Alabama. We always got riding on by the coaches every day. So it's just good to see um, coach out there getting on them boys and, uh, and trying to make them better. How will you take your game to another level after 11 and a half sacks, having already got the bag? Uh, it's just keep upping it some more. Uh, I feel like I left a lot of plays on the table last year, so if I can um, go out there and capitalize on more opportunities, then I feel like we'll be up to score again. And really quickly, how would you just describe Chase Young's uh, psychological state? You know, with the disappointment of last year and having the pressure of having to come back this season, where is he at mentally? And then missing team drills with that stinger from the first preseason game. I mean, to me, he's ready to go. Um, I see him at practice every day. You know, um, he's always out there hustling hard, playing hard, playing fast, and you know, um, just doing normal normal things that he was doing before the injury. So um, I'm excited to see him get out there this year. But um, I don't really have any – Doubts in him. I, I know he'll go out there and, and give his full. So, what's the potential nickname for this defensive front with the return of Chase Young coming back? Well, well, well we got the, the incredible Commander Hulks, or I mean, that was terrible. No, yeah, that was bad. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about nicknames. We don't got no nicknames. We got no nicknames. I feel like everybody got their own personal nicknames. Okay. Right now. Well, we try to work on one. Yeah. I have an answer for that next time I see you. And last two, really quickly, how are you going to convince NFL fans out there that you guys can keep up with the firepower of the Eagles and the Cowboys out there? Not saying you haven't done before, but, you know, the Eagles did just go to the Super Bowl and things like that. So how are you going to convince them y'all got what it takes? I mean, it's an NFL season, man. Anything's bound to happen uh -huh. at any point. So you can't really um, hold on to what happened last year because it's a whole new year and there's a, a whole new – new uh, opportunity ahead of us. So I feel like as long as we go into every game ready with the uh, right mindset and we prepare hard during the week, we, we got a good chance with anybody. And I do know how you guys shocked some folks the first year that Chase Young was here, uh, particularly down the stretch. And last year you got the game against the uh, Ravens uh, on Monday. So how's that going to go down, especially with all the energy that's already out here just at the Ravens facility? Oh, yeah, we're excited for the game. Um, just another day to get out there and um, get off of banging our guys and get to go against some new guys and um, just play hard and, and try to get ready for the season. I will remember it's just preseason. Try not to crack any uh, backs out there too bad, okay? <laughs> All right, well, you know I appreciate you, DP. Thank you. Next time, uh, have something ready for me after you got that big signing bonus, okay? <laughs> All right, so for Deron Payne, I'm Josina Anderson. Back to you guys.